What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and low storage is one of the most common problems a PlayStation 4 owner can face. With large game file sizes and more frequent updates, low storage is becoming a more common problem among PlayStation 4 consoles. And there are a few ways of fixing this, but today I'll be showing you the easiest and most common way of doing that, and that is through an external hard drive like the ones to the left here. These come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and all of these work on the PlayStation 4, including this old laptop hard drive here. They're all compatible as long as they are more than 250 gigabytes and using USB 3.0 or later. Now, while PlayStation requires a drive of more than 250 gigabytes, I personally recommend a drive of more than 500 gigabytes, even better, a terabyte or more. And I'll leave a link down below to the drive I personally use, which is a terabyte, and to other cheaper and more expensive drives. So once we've chosen our drive, we are going to plug it into one of the front two USB ports on our PlayStation 4 console. If you have a USB hub like I do, don't plug the drive into any of those USB ports, only plug it into one of the two main primary ports on the front of the console. So once our drive is plugged in, we can head into the PlayStation 4 menu here, up to the settings menu, and then down to devices, and then all the way down to USB storage devices. If we plugged in everything correctly and the drive met the PS4 specifications, it should show up in this menu right here. And the only option here should be format as extended storage, and then right above that we will see the specifications for the drive which should match the drive we bought hopefully now before i press format here i want to mention a very important detail um, and that is that your drive will be completely wiped in this process of formatting so be sure that any important files pictures uh, videos anything on that drive that you care about is backed up on a computer or deleted or in a place where it will be safe because everything on this drive is going to be purged and you will never get it back. So uh, yeah, just double check, be sure everything's clean on the drive, and then you can proceed with the formatting. So now that we are sure we have a clean drive, we can press format as extended storage. This will take us to a menu that will basically tell us that only apps can download onto our drive. So we can press next and it'll basically give you the same warning I just gave you. So uh, once again, double check, be sure. And then we can press next again here. And it'll give us another warning here. So once again, double check, be sure. And if we are sure, we will press format and it will uh, take a few seconds here. Um, just leave the drive the way it is. Don't unplug it. Don't uh, you know do anything weird with the drive. Just let it do its thing. And now after a few seconds here, it has formatted as an external drive. And it'll basically just tell us here that um, applications will now default to this extended storage drive instead of the system storage. So now I'm going to head back to the main settings menu and down to storage just to double check to make sure that the drive has installed correctly. And as you can see here, it shows it right underneath our system storage with only a few kilobytes because we have not actually installed anything on it yet. And right there it also says that this is the application install location. Now if for whatever reason we want to revert it back to the default, we can head up here to system storage, press options, and select application install location. While we're here we can also take a look at how to transfer some apps over to that extended storage so we can head in here to our system storage, into the applications section, and it'll show us a list of all of the applications and games we have installed on our system storage. And you'll notice a few of these here at the top are marked as not eligible to be transferred. Um, there's just a few apps and games that install that way. They just have to be on the system storage, so we can't really do much with these. But if we go down here, we'll see that there are a few that we can transfer. In my case, I'll be using YouTube as an example. So we can press the options button here, move to extended storage, and then we will just select the app or apps that we want to move so i'll just select youtube and then move to extended storage and now it's transferred so we can head back to the storage menu into our external drive and we will see that youtube is sitting there comfortably on our external hard drive now if we want to move the app back it's the same process just options select move to storage make sure to do this if you want to reformat the drive for a computer i'll leave a link to a tutorial down below on how to reformat your drive for a windows computer all right lastly if we do want to remove our hard drive safely we can just press and hold on the PlayStation 4 button on our DualShock controller and it'll bring up this menu right here. We can head up to sounds and devices and then down to remove extended storage and then we can unplug the drive. This will not delete anything, it will keep all of the apps on the drive and we can use it again on our PS4 or on a different console. And that about does it for this method, as I said there are many different methods that you can use to add more storage to your PlayStation. Uh, you can add it through the hardware side by actually adding a, a hard drive to the console itself or you can use a flash drive to transfer uh, application data over to that drive. I've actually made a video on this before so I'll leave a link down below 
to that tutorial. So that about does it for today's video. If you have any questions regarding this method, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're there, be sure to leave any suggestions for future videos. If you really love what I do, be sure to support me on Patreon. Link will be in the description down below. And that about does it for today's tutorial. I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful day.